or Nathan encouraging the start, where did it all go wrong? I just think we switched off. Um, we started to concede um, possession in, in sloppy areas and started to do, not stop doing the um, the basics that we we'd done so well for the first sort of 15, 20 minutes. So um, there's a lot of positives to take from the game. It is ultimately very disappointing that you haven't um, <coughs> come away um, with a result that we'd want. But as I say, it's, there's positives there. You assisted with the goal and at that stage you were well on top. Yeah, we were dominating the game and as I say, we just stopped doing those basics. Um, they changed it up, made 11 changes at half-time and probably for 15, 20 minutes looked a little bit fresher. But that will come. Um, we've got two more pre-season games and it's important we iron out those um, mistakes and get that match fitness so that come um, Luton, we're, we're sharp and we're, we're ready to go for the full 90. Yeah, as we said to Kenny, you learn from pre-season games, don't you? There's no point in beating yourself up over it. No, not at all. I mean, I've been a successful team. Um, we got to a playoff final. I don't think we won one pre-season game. Don't get me wrong, that's not what we want to try and achieve. And um, we want to get into winning habits early on. But um, there are positives to take, so it's not all doom and gloom, that's for sure. Were they bad goals to concede from a defensive point of view? I think the second one is... It's frustrating because the actual it's, it's hit Clarky and, and ricocheted in, but when we, we strip it back, we can see possession right at the end. It's our throw-in at the end of the day, so to concede the goal from our throw-in, oh, I mean, it's very disappointing. The third one, I'll hold my hands up. Um, I pride myself on um, being quite solid defensively and I haven't moved my feet quick enough um, to stop the cross coming in. And um, I'm a, my biggest critic in that sense, so <clears throat> disappointing to concede the third goal. And the first one, again, it's, it is defensive error. One goes up for the head that we know. As a, as a back four we have to um, the, the other three um, defenders have to drop off and um, close it out and we haven't done that and um, yeah we've conceded so it's important that we iron those out right now It was quite a battle you were having with a guy out here yeah, he was he was sharp when he came on, and it's important that when when the player is like that, and he was causing me a little bit of a problem. I get even tighter to him. I don't allow him to to build up pace, and and as I say, that's why it was so disappointing to um, to concede the third goal because I like to think I usually stop my crosses and don't let the winger get those balls in. So as I say, um, it was a good test, and when you're fatigued, um, getting tired, um, to have someone sharp like that is is important because it's, it's minutes in the bank and it's a good. Yeah, although you're professional footballers, it, it's hot out there, and it is. Yeah, and I think normally that was the first 90 minutes for some of us um, in the, the seven or eight weeks that we've been off. Um, so it's it's important that we start to correct those mistakes and um, build that sharpness up, so that come the fourth of August we're not playing like that.